This week on Sundays with Shelly, we are diving into the deep end with Furuno's TZT XL and all of the goodies that this feature packed new unit is bringing to the table. Let's go check it out. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sally. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't done so yet, here comes the spiel on every YouTube channel, and I'm no different. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below, down there, wherever it is, on YouTube, to at Navtronics, to stay up to date and in the know, the latest happenings in the marine industry, tips, tech, and trends, and all that other good stuff. So... What are we talking about today, guys? Well, like I said in the intro, we're diving into the deep end on this brand new Furuno TZT XL. What we have here is the 22 inch display. Now, a previous video, we did the unboxing of this and kind of went through all the features of everything outside the unit. Now, just as a quick reminder, we are now doing front mounting on this. We no longer have cables coming out of the back. Everything plugs directly into the unit. We've simplified a lot of things and a lot of things have been cleaned up. So now we've got it all powered up and we're gonna give you guys a little preview of everything that's going on on board this unit. And it's worth mentioning, they just released that this is now available in a 10, 13, 16, 22, and 24 inch display so it kind of covers the whole range they call those the tzt x's these are the xls of the uh, 22 and 24 so there's a whole broad spectrum here all of these features are going to apply across the board on it so here we go get in the driver's seat here pop up over here somewhere in my editing skills you're going to see the new home screen on the Furuna display they've kind of simplified a lot of things on here guys we look at it a lot of these icons are going to be very familiar if you are used to the Furuna world everything's kind of a pictorial diagram we got our charts right there we have our omni sonar we've got combo we've got 3d sonar weather side scan all of those kind of features that we've come to expect on all of our modern day mfds so if i go ahead here and we pop up the 3d this is starting to show you some of the graphic processing power that this unit is packing right here now not new been in the tzt world for a while but as we see as we kind of spin it around here we're getting a 3d mapping here of what's going on underneath the boat and what's in the column and we can spin this thing around we can look at historicals and all of that now obviously we're in demo mode but you get the gist of what it is we are looking at here and we can go ahead and everything in the Furuno world now works off of swipes. Swipe left, swipe right, you like it, you don't like it, you swipe up, you get the menu for what's going on in that screen. In this case, we swipe up and now we've got the menu for that sonar screen right there. So I go ahead and swipe that back up. You can see we can go in here, we can change seabed colors and it'll show you in real time as we change those there, what that's doing there. So we've got all of that and we can really tweak down in on that. So that is the 3D one on there. If we go ahead and we back out of there, another really popular is the triple beam here. So now we've got our center and our left and our right beam right here. Same thing again, we can go ahead and we can swipe up and we can decide, you know, auto mode are we fishing are we cruising and we can go ahead and that's going to go ahead and change the different settings on there do we want bottom lock all of those features are right here so you can really tweak and dial this thing for how you want to fish and again we're in demo mode but it gives you an idea of what it is we're looking at right here guys so we go ahead we back out of there and then what else do we have here after our triple oh yeah we have just regular old school sonar right here right so if you just you don't have the big daddy sonar you've just got a single b175 or something like that you're still going to get these nice pictures and nice returns on here so we've got that going on let's back out of there uh, obviously we've got serious weather uh, they do also do the side scan as well so we've got that going on and i show you all of that so that we can go into our charting here guys so as i go ahead and open up charting. If you've lived in Furuno's world for any amount of time, you guys know this chart, you're used to it, it's very familiar. Some people don't like it. 
Well, good news is you can run Seymour and you can run CMAP. You put a card in, you can run those maps without a problem. But this also comes with built-in maps. You simply have to purchase an unlock code. The maps are there, so we're not trying to download them. We're not trying to do anything else. They're there. We simply need to do an unlock code, and we can open up all of the other charting options in Furuno's world. So if we go back to here, if we look right here, there says charts on the left-hand side. And now that brings this up. TZ map updates, TZ map store, and we can come in here very simply and very quick. If I go to the map store, that's going to bring us up. You can see I've already installed the United States and you can see that's all highlighted everything that we have got with that single purchase. If we want to go in and we want to do the Bahamas, boom, there we go. We circled it in. It's now blocked. That is an area that you can simply go in and purchase. It's very easy. Once this is connected to the internet, it's going to go ahead. We're going to ask us for, you know, do you want to purchase this here? So this is connected, obviously, in the shop. A lot of boats were doing Starlink on. This is how you'd come in. You come in here, you fill out all of your information directly on the MFD. You pay the price for whatever that chart is for that area. You get your unlock code and you instantly have charts once that download and that sale has been complete. So it's a very quick, very slick process to do that. So that is a big step there if you want to get these updated and upgraded charts. So if we back out of there and I bring you back into charts, you see that we've already downloaded the charts onto here. I've already made that purchase. So if I swipe up from the bottom, it's gonna ask me right here, charts, TZ maps, MM3D, TZ vector. Well, we know what vector is. There's our vector charts. That's the other kind of familiar chart in our world here. But then we can go over here to Bathy and this guy's this is awesome. We've all become very accustomed to our bathy charts. So if I go ahead and close that, we're here in Maine. I'm going to go ahead and zoom this thing in here. And we're going to just find a good area right around the islands here that's got some good depth contouring to us here. And you'll see in the lower uh, what is that? Uh, right hand corner right there, right above the 3D. If I press that button, it says one and it shows me that my steps are in five foot increments through here. As we look onto this right there, now it's saying 2.5 uh, feet. If I click on it again, I'm going to get additional contouring and now it's doing it in a one foot increments because of how I'm zoomed in. If I go to three, now I'm getting half foot increments of what is going on the bottom. I go to here, now I'm getting 0.25, and you see guys, this really starts to load it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more to give you guys to fully appreciate what it is we're looking at right here. And then we go to five, and that's gonna give us all of the data right there. If I zoom in even more, and we're gonna get all of that. So that's really cool to have it, but guys, it's kind of busy. And we're just gonna go back that out to uh, one again. So we're back here now at, in this case, zoomed out at 25 foot increments. But if I come up here and I see over here on the right hand side of this, I look at the depth shading and I turn that on. We go ahead right there. We click that. Now if you look at this color palette of everything that we have going on here, guys. Now we can kind of come into here. We can start looking around at some of these areas. And if I go ahead and zoom in on these, now we've got bathy charts for this and I can come in and do the exact same thing I just did over here on the lower left side of the screen and I can go in and I can start to add my contours to this so I can really load this thing up and really start to see incredible amounts of data coming in right there as I get all of that in there and I go ahead and I zoom in and we really start to zoom in here you can really see we're looking at a lot of data right there. And then if I want, there's a middle bar right here where it says auto. And if I want to come in here and I want to go ahead and adjust that, I can come in and say, what colors am I looking for? What am I, if I only want to be in certain depths or certain palettes of things right here, I can go in and adjust those things. The other thing I can do is terrain shading. Now, obviously with all of this info going on on there, maybe that's too much. 
I can scale that down and take away some of that color so I can still see my chart, but now I've got the terrain shading going on there. So that works really, really well on here. Obviously, if we zoom back out a little bit, we'll clean this up a little bit. And that's just for here. So, you know, another good example is to show you just how quick this processor is. Obviously, a lot of graphics right here, guys. And you see how quick I'm just moving around on this thing. And if I zoom out and I go down south of the vineyard here, and now we start to get down off of the uh, hydrographers. And where are we at? Let's see here. Let's find a good one for you guys. There we go right here. We can really start to see if I go ahead and start scaling this up with all of this and hydrographers, we can really, really dive down deep and see what's going on around there and get our depth along with that right there. We're showing it right now in 5, 10, and 25 foot increments, but if I really zoom in, we can really pinpoint and nail down what is going on. So that's, if you purchase that guys, if I go ahead and I zoom this out right here, just as a spot check and I say, hey, you know what? I wonder what's going on in, let's see, in the Great Lakes. So let's go back to my old neighborhood here. Look at that, right there. Now we have relief shading on the Great Lakes as well. With that one purchase and unlock subscription that I've done on here, we're able to pull all of those charts up right there and get those same details and same effects going on. Here we are outside of uh, Chicago, it looks like, and we're able to pull in all of those details with that as well. So we've got that going on right there. And another really cool feature here, guys, is I go ahead and I go back to, let's just do our old school vector charts here and turn off our shading. And I can zoom out. They now have AI, artificial intelligence routing. So let's zoom back out and we go back over to the East Coast here, guys. Let's just say we are in Boston Harbor as I zoom in here. Let's just say we are in Boston Harbor. If I place my finger right here and say new route, down on the bottom, it's gonna say manual or AI. So now I've got my starting point and I have highlighted AI. So if I zoom out and let's just, for funsies here, scroll on down. Let's go to the Cape and let's see how it does. If we go visit our buddies at the shipyard over in Vineyard Haven, and I just drop a point right there, and I say, that's my end route right there. You're going to see this thing now start calculating. We're going to see the blue circle is starting to go around. We're getting a percentage, you know, 11%, 12%. Now, I've never asked it to do this before. So it's going to go through, and it's going to calculate the route for us here as I zoom out a little bit and kind of get an idea of what it is we're looking for here. From, from there to there, now it's going to go ahead and it's going to start calculating the best route for us. And look at that. Now it's going ahead. It's going to ask us what do we want to name this because it's gone ahead and made that route. So let's go ahead and let's call this test run right there. We save it. It is now saved and we can look through here and we can go ahead, always review, right? always want to check it out and let's just say I don't want to come in this close so I take number 13 and I say move and I simply drag it out and I say end move and then over here same thing again 14 I drag that right to there and say end move just that quick I've gone through and I have changed my route and see it's made all the turns through the canal comes through here again now let's just say, I don't want to get in this close again here. So I simply touch on the turn and we tell it move. And I can go ahead and bring that all the way out to the channel right there where I want. And that we say end move. And we can go ahead all the way down there, check everything all out. And now we have an active route that an autopilot will follow. And I don't think you guys understand how big that is. It doesn't have to be a Furuno autopilot, guys. This is putting out the course data standard NEMA 2000 PGNs, we're told, so that now with this auto intelligence feature, with this guidance, you can now use your autopilot of choice. It doesn't have to be Furuno. So that is a really neat feature. And then the other thing, can't really talk about it because I don't have it here, but this has a risk 
Analyzer. So once we get one installed, I'm going to do another video on that, and that is AIS in Radar, and it is going to route you around threats and targets using AI. So it's a lot going on in this, guys. I know I breezed through a lot of it here. Hopefully you found it informative. If you have any more questions or you want to see more on this unit and what all it can do and all that fun stuff, leave it down below in the comments. I'm happy to do another video and dive in a little deeper if there's something I didn't cover. As always, if you made it this far, guys, you probably like the channel. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out a ton for us leave comments down below we'll be back next week with something cool i hope and uh, we'll see you then peace